this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's wonderful world! <laughs> I sound like um, I'm a ringmaster at a circus or something. I don't sound like I'm introducing a gaming video on YouTube. I sound like I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the circus where we have tigers and trapeze artists and clowns. But no, we just have a, our little 2D world and all of our bricks, don't we? <laughs> oh, well, it is still exciting, though, because I am still uh, very happy and giddy uh, because uh, I have these. I have my little uh, animals in the uh, the terrariums, they were called, weren't they? Is that right? A uh, terrarium. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I've been trapping all of my animals. No, I haven't been trapping them. I've been... Uh, what's a nicer way to word it? Saving them from the dangerous outdoors. I've been rescuing them all. <laughs> but there is one uh, critter uh, that has been continually escaping me, and uh, that is the uh, the penguin. So every now and then, uh, you're going to see me running over to my little ice area where I sometimes get penguins and uh, having a, a little look. But so far, I've not been uh, not been lucky. Actually, how much snow do I have? Um... Let me see if I can find the uh, the snow. It's been, uh, uh, as you know, a little while since the, the last episode. And I've been hearing you, by the way. I know a lot of you have been commenting and uh, saying that I've not been uh, uploading uh, Terraria enough. And uh, I agree. I agree. I'm going to go and uh, try and do Terraria a little bit more uh, r um, regularly uh, is the uh, the plan. Um, but, uh, yeah, I struggle with this game a little bit. I'll be honest. I'll hold my hands up. Um, yep. I mean, I know a lot of you commented. I'm not the, uh, I'm not the best. The problem is, is I have been trying for a really long time to do as much of the uh, the game uh, without looking up any of the uh, the guides. I kind of just wanted to discover things in the game and then I realized that that's just kind of not really possible. The game uh, isn't really built to be played by just playing. You kind of have to either speak to people or look online uh, to, to find everything out and uh, your comments have also been uh, really helping me out as well. So please uh, don't stop helping me <laughs> in the other uh, comments. All right then, uh, what I want to do then is I want to build a home uh, for all of my animal friends. So I got my uh, my squirrel here, and then I got my uh, the blue bird, whatever that one's called as well. Uh, so let's go and get that the blue jay. And uh, is there any more animals around here? I don't think so. So I've come up with uh, an idea uh, for a, a cool place to to keep them. So I thought rather than uh, have them in my house, I think they need their own home or their own island. Ah, huh? huh? So uh, basically, if you look up here. I have this island, which is just kind of sitting there unused for now. And I thought, how about I make that the home for all of the animals? And I can call it my animal island. Uh, well, not my animal island, but just the animal island. And oh, here we go. There's another one here. Oh, there's a canary. Have I got one? Oh, yeah, I do have a canary already. <laughs> I got a bit excited there. So if I do see any more animals, I will try and uh, and catch them. I kind of got a lot of the uh, the squirrels and things, though, so they don't uh, matter too much. Let me just have one more uh, quick check to see if there's a squirrel here. And... Uh, no squirrels seem to be about. As what I might do uh, is when I get to the, the island, is I might just go and spread out snow everywhere, and then hopefully at some point we'll get a, a penguin spawning would be uh, really uh, nice and uh, and handy and uh, make things uh, easier. I think that if you just spread out enough snow, uh, they can just spawn. Actually, I've got the, uh, the biome boxes, don't I? Let's have a, a quick look in here. It looks very nice and festive, doesn't it? <laughs> it's kind of the, uh, the wrong time of year. It's quite hot right now, but um, let's go and uh, have a, a quick check just to see any... Nope, nope, no penguins in there. Okay, no worries. Uh, moving on up, just like we go. And actually, there's nothing in the desert either, is there? Is anything in the desert biome? No, there's just a, a cactus chair I can see down there. <laughs> Wouldn't be very comfortable. All right, then, let's go and uh, head over to this island. It should be right about here somewhere. There we go. And that was a, a nice smooth landing. And it seems to be nicely uh, lit up already as well. So uh, let's go and just put some snow down then, shall we? So the idea is, is we're going to have uh, an area for all of the, the birds. And I think what better than to, to have a, a tree? And actually, I need some acorns. If I'm going to have a tree, I want to grow some trees, but I need uh, some acorns. Are there any trees down here? You can see that my world is getting completely taken over by the corruption now. There's a tiny bit down the end there, but that's going to go. But luckily, uh, this whole bit here is safe. But I don't actually think uh, that there are any trees growing. And I want to kind of get one planted now uh, so it can be growing through throughout the video. So let's go and uh, very quickly head home and I can go and grab some uh, some acorns. 
uh, from a chest in here, and then I should have everything else that I need uh, to go and build their their home. So the the plan is is I'm going to have trees for the birds, obviously. So I'm just going to grow a real tree and uh, just have that growing, and then I'm just going to do uh, just wooden planks coming off the uh, the side uh, to look like branches, uh, so we can put the uh, the birds uh, on top of there. And then I guess for the the rabbits, I could have a I could have like a, a rabbit hutch, uh, I guess uh, for the uh, the rabbits that could be quite cool. And then I'm going to have a, a snowy place for the the penguins. Maybe build a little igloo or something. <laughs> Could be uh, quite cool. And then what else do we have? Oh, and squirrels. Okay, I did a little bit of research to check this uh, just to see uh, where squirrels live. And some of them live in trees, but I thought that because the uh, the birds are in trees, I kind of want to put the, the squirrels somewhere else. Uh, so I found out that other squirrels uh, live in burrows under the, the ground. So I could have like a little burrow uh, under the, the ground, and then that is where I can go put the squirrels And Oh no, don't start this. Don't, no, you cut it out. I'm not, I don't want to fight you. Leave me, no, don't. Don't, don't even start. Don't even start. Oh, <laughs> right. Looks like I'm in a, a little bit of trouble here. If I just go down to the ground, is it going to... No, nope, it doesn't care. It doesn't care. Right, this is... um. This is problematic. That is the, uh, the one of the, the downsides of uh, Animal Island is that, yeah, we might get attacked every now and then. <laughs> Maybe I should go back and see if I can get any... Whoop, can I survive? Just about. Is it still going to be going after me, though? Uh, maybe I should go and grab some uh, some potions. Oh no, he's cut off. Brilliant. <laughs> right, hopefully he's gonna get bored of me now. Now that now that he's taken me out, uh, hopefully he's not gonna be so interested in me, and I can just go about my business. I was gonna see if there's any more potions. I don't have any more uh, healing potions, so they would be quite handy. These are some normal healing potions, uh, but I really need uh, some greater healing potions. Would be uh, would be better. And uh, I think you make them. I think you need. Uh, is it pixie dust? I think you need uh, to to make them. And uh, let's go and have a, a quick see and uh, see if we can make some some more potions. Otherwise, uh, I don't think. I'm going to have much chance surviving out there. Some visibility, uh, mana, gills, swiftness, regeneration, uh, mana, healing potion, healing potion, greater healing potion. Yeah, so I need water, pixie dust, and crystal shards. Okay, I should hopefully have all of that in here. So uh, here's the uh, the pixie dust, and uh, there's some crystal uh, shards here as well. So I can go and uh, grab some of them. And of course, bottles of water are everywhere. So let's go and uh, grab some of these as well. And uh, now I can at least go and make some some more healing potions. Uh, so if they do keep coming after me, I can at least get uh, easily get healed up. So uh, let's just go and uh, empty my pockets because they're getting very filled up already, <laughs> as uh, so often happens in, uh, in Terraria. And uh, yeah, let's go and actually try and do some proper work uh, on the... Um, on Animal Island then, shall we? So, uh, is there anything else I want to put away? There's some bottles of water I don't need. And I'm just going to go and throw these feathers in here for now because I don't need uh, them either. So let's go and put them there. And actually, I'm not sure if... Say if I did a burrow and I just threw the uh, the squirrels in, and they, would they stay there? I don't know whether they would stay there or whether they would despawn. Because if they just stayed there, don't think that would be even cooler. I know the birds would get away. Uh, unless I kind of blocked them off somehow. I just don't know, like, if you walk away, or whether they're going to escape, or whether they're just going to stay there the, the whole time. What would be really cool is if I could kind of just, you know, put the, uh, the, um, the rabbits and stuff, like, in the hutch, and then just leave them. Uh, and then that way, uh, I kind of just don't need to worry about having them in the, the cages, and then they would just stay there. I have a feeling uh, that that uh, is not going to, to work, though. So uh, let's go and uh, take out some of these harpies, and uh, then we can go and just try and destroy uh, some of this background here. Hopefully, uh, once it gets to, to daytime, uh, we're going to just not be uh, attacked so much, and I can go and just try and get on with building, because <laughs> I've been doing this for almost 10 minutes now, and I've got literally nothing done. I've come up with an idea, though. I've come up with a, a plan, so I might do a, a test of my... Uh, my idea and uh, see whether that works. But first, uh, let's go and uh, start some trees growing, shall we? Let's go and uh, grab these uh, these acorns. And luckily, the uh, the harpies aren't too strong, so I don't need to worry about them too much. Uh, it's mainly the the wyverns. So let's go. This can be where the the birds are. I do one there, one there, and maybe one here. I have three trees, and hopefully, if I just leave them, uh, they're going to end up growing really, really tall. And uh, then that way, I can have uh, all different types of birds uh, along the uh, the whole way up. So I'm just getting rid of some of the the background. You can see there's a load of 
uh, this dirt wall and it just looks a little bit ugly so I'm just doing a, a little bit of a spring cleaning for now and getting rid of some of this dirt and uh, then I'm gonna go and spread down the the snow I think I'll do the uh, the snow on uh, the uh, the far right of the the island here and if we're lucky uh, it's going to be counted as a, a snow biome and uh, we might even get a, a few penguins uh, spawning in right up here and then uh, we can go and try and uh, catch them and uh, put them in the uh, terrarium so uh, I think I'm going to do snow from uh, about uh, here maybe and then that room in the middle uh, is where I can put down the uh, the burrow uh, as well as the uh, the hutch for the uh, the rabbits as well so let's go and uh, break this uh, along here and uh, then throw down my snow and uh, have fingers crossed uh, that we're going to have a, a penguin uh, showing up at at some point so let's keep breaking this away and if I go and grab my snow I can just go uh, along the uh, the whole bit at the uh, the top here and I don't know really how things spawn in I think the chances of a, a penguin spawning in while I'm standing here uh, is pretty slim uh, but I don't know I think if I, if I go away and then come back uh, there's a good chance that there will be one in and I'm kind of just ignoring the harpies but now, oh no I can't ignore this though I can't ignore the the wyvern <laughs> right it's not a, an arch one I actually uh, probably have a, a chance of being able to to take this one out. What I think I need to do is uh, try and grab my Nimbus Rod. Oh, I've got my Nimbus Rod here already. Right. If I go up here and uh, put down a few of these and then try and keep it in this area here, I might have a better chance of being able to, to take it out. That's hopefully uh, doing uh, some pretty good damage, but uh, I don't know how much damage the arrows are doing. But the uh, yeah, the, the rain uh, should be taking it out. There we go. <laughs> I was able to, to take it out. Any um uh, any souls of flight anywhere around here? It should have dropped some somewhere. Oh, look, they're right down here under the, the ground. Let's just go and uh, dig down and I can go and grab these. And, oh, no, I think I destroyed one of my acorns, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. We can go and uh, plant that down again. And look, my pockets are one once again filled up. What I could do is I uh, just place down uh, some of my animals uh, just for for now, uh, just to kind of empty my my pockets a little bit. I got my <laughs> my pockets full up with full of all sorts of different types of uh, of animals. So uh, let's go and uh, try and fill in uh, this dirt. And at least I know kind of the the best way to take out the the wyverns now if uh, if they keep showing up. And I can go now and uh, try and plant down my acorns again. Uh, so I can go and leave that growing. And uh, let's try and uh, let's try and build the uh, the hutch first, then, shall we? I think that would be a, a good place to to start. Uh, if I place the the acorn down here. Uh, so first thing, I'm going to get rid of some of this um. Uh, this silver ore and instead I'm going to put down some dirt because uh, this is where eventually the uh, the burrow is going to be somewhere around here and uh, yeah then I can go and start doing the the hut so I guess it'll just be like a kind of like a, a little wooden hut and uh, then I'm going to do maybe some fences as well next to it as kind of like an outside area and uh, I'm thinking that I am not going to be able to to set it uh, loose so it just wanders around uh, but I might just give it a test to go no don't show up again all right let's go get the uh, the old uh, nimbus uh, rod out again and uh, put some of these clouds up here and it should kind of pretty much just take itself out i don't really think i even really need to attack it as long as it's just going under the the rain uh, it should just sort of uh take itself out uh anyways uh kind of the the plan yeah there you go uh, you can see it's getting really hurt and oh looks like there's there's real rain coming in as well and uh <laughs> and uh doing um uh, yeah, just making a bunch of noise, to be honest. Right, let's go and see if we can finish taking it out. I want to be careful here. Let's have a, a bit of a, a healing potion. There we go. I was able to, to take it out. I'm getting a, a whole load of uh, souls of flight at the, the same time here. It's uh, a lot more dangerous up here than I expected it to be. I kind of wanted this to be a nice haven away from <laughs> everything else uh, for my animals to live. But they've just been continually attacked by harpies and wyverns. And now it's rainy and horrible. But it's okay. I'm going to make this place uh, look pretty. So let's go now and uh, start building the... Uh, the hutch then shall we so I do have uh, a bunch of uh, of wood here uh, which I've uh, already gathered uh, so let's go and grab that and uh, start building the uh, the old hutch so uh, I guess I'll do it right about here on the edge of where the uh, the snow is and I'll go along like this I guess it'll be a little bit like the uh, the dog house maybe and uh, I think I'm only gonna have one rabbit on the the inside and one on the the outside so this should be big enough and it'd be good if there's a I guess, uh, I guess I don't really need to be able to walk into it. So uh, once uh, I finish building it, I can kind of block the uh, the whole thing off. So uh, I do have a rabbit on me, I think. Do I have a, I have a rabbit, but I don't think I've put it into one of the um uh, one of the uh, the cages yet. So I guess I'll just hold on to to that for now. And I need to go and do wood uh, along the uh, the floor here as well, like this. 
and then I can go and uh, place that down. And I also, of course, need uh, to make some wooden walls uh, for the uh, the background. Because uh, at the moment, it's kind of like a see-through heart. And oh, it looks like I've accidentally caught a bird. <laughs> Sadly, that is in the, the wrong place. It looks like I accidentally caught a bird down there. Uh, right then, let's go and um, what I might do is I might try and just make a, a chest. And then I can just try and store some of this stuff in. Because my inventory is getting so filled up, it's kind of uh, hard to, to do anything. I also want to uh, light up the, uh, the area uh, as much as I can as well. Hopefully, it's going to, to start being a uh, day soon would be a uh, mighty handy. I don't know if there's anything you can do uh, to stop it raining. I don't know if there's any magic spells or anything you can use uh, to make it stop raining. Because if you could, uh, that would be absolutely amazing. But anyway, uh, let's go and uh, make uh, a little chest uh, so I can go and put that on. Actually, no, I don't think I can. I don't think I've got iron on me. Uh, so I don't think I can make a chest. I'm just going to have to to struggle my way through. So <laughs> uh, what I can do is I can make a, uh, a workbench. And uh, I'm going to have to go and drop something for now. Let's go and drop these uh, these pumpkins, maybe? Uh, is it going to let me drop the pumpkins? It doesn't seem to be letting me drop them. Let me just go and trash some things that I don't really need. I don't really need these stars for now. And uh, I could just place the uh, the bed down would be a, a good way of, uh, of getting rid of that. And I'm getting totally destroyed by all of these harpies here. I guess I just placed down the the bed here in the uh, uh, the the snowy area, and I'm actually set my spawn to here. So then that way, uh, if I do get taken out, uh, oh no, it needs to be in a house, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, let's not worry about that. Uh, so yeah, I've got my uh, little workbench here, uh, so I can go and place that down, and I'm gonna go and make myself some uh, some wooden walls uh, for the uh, the background uh, of the uh, of the the hutch. So uh, let's go and uh, try and find wooden walls while I uh, try and ignore all of the the damage the uh, the harpies are gonna be doing against me. And oh, I can go and put the uh, the rabbit in. There we go. I can put the uh, the rabbit in the uh, the terrarium. And uh, let's go and find uh, these walls. Oh, no, they're just the bricks. These are the the walls here. So let's see if we can just find the the normal wooden ones. Uh, can you see them anywhere? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's just go and make uh, some of these. I don't need uh, too many because uh, obviously the uh, the hutch is going to to be quite small. And then after this, I can go and make some of the uh, the wooden fences uh, to put on the uh, the outside as well. And I think that's going to look pretty cool. I might. I just go and put some of these clouds just kind of over here. And then if I just saw Sort of stand under them. Uh, everyone's going to be kind of just taken out anyway. There we go. <laughs> that proved to be uh, pretty effective. Uh, so let's go and uh, grab these walls. And uh, we can go now and uh, start filling in the uh, the background like this. Uh, if I try and fill the uh, the entire place up. And I've gone over a little bit, but it's okay. I can go and get rid of this. And this should hopefully uh, be just uh, enough walls uh, to go and uh, fill the uh, the entire things in. It seems like uh, it's pretty much just about perfect. So let's try and uh, get rid of the, the bits where I uh, overlapped a little bit. If I kind of go along here like this and then, oh, nope, I accidentally, oh, I think I changed it. I think I, I changed, yeah, you can see you can change the uh, the shapes of the, the walls. Uh, there we go. That looks uh, a little bit better now. And then I missed uh, a bit at the uh, the front uh, as well like this. Right. And uh, let's go and put the uh, the rabbit in the, uh, the hutch then. <laughs> I think this works quite well. I'm going to go and fill the, uh, the front in like this. And I'm also going to do like a, a design on the, uh, the top uh, just to make it look a little bit nicer. If I kind of just build along like, um... Like this, and look, I've trapped another bird in. <laughs> I've trapped another little bird in the, the hut. This might be a good test. Uh, we can try and see uh, whether the uh, the bird stays there or not. We can see uh, whether if I go away and come back, uh, whether the uh, the bird disappears or not. This might be a, a little good uh, test. So uh, what I'm going to go and do now is... Uh, oh, did I get a, a, me a mechanical skull then? Okay, it looks like someone just dropped a mechanical skull. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some of these. I'm going to make some uh, some wooden fences, and I can go and place these uh, on the uh, the outside. So let me go and uh, grab some of these, and I can place these uh, along here uh, as kind of like uh, the outdoor area of the uh, the hut. And then hopefully, if I can get a uh, another rabbit, I can place it in here as if it's on the the outside. I think that looks quite nice. <laughs> I think that's uh, quite a nice little cute uh, rabbit hutch. I'm going to, and oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it picks the, the fences up. Okay, what I'm trying to do is uh, get rid of the uh, the background wall, uh, which is kind of overlapping, but I'm kind of just destroying everything. Let's go and uh, try and make it so this all lines up. Actually, I might do this to make it so that the uh, the uh, the roof looks slanted. I think that might uh, look quite cool. So let's get that fixed. So if I go to these corners and do it like that, and then you can see I got a, a proper uh, little rabbit hutch. That looks quite cool, actually. I like the look of this. Uh, let's go and do it uh, down this side as well uh, so it all links up. And there we go. That looks quite cute, doesn't it? <laughs> and look at the, the rabbit in there. I think the rabbit's happy because it's the only thing on this island uh, which is actually dry right now. So let me go and uh, keep uh, uh, making this right because I keep mucking up. Oh, no, I mucked up the, the wrong side again. It's all a little bit fiddly. Everything's quite small in this game and you've got to be very exact with it. And so 
sometimes uh, can be a little bit awkward uh, because some of the uh, the tools do more than one thing. And oh no, I keep completely mucking it up. I will get this. All right, let's go from the bottom up and just make it uh, so it's all correct. Is that right? Nope, that is definitely not right. That's not right either. There we go. And then there we go. Uh, all I need to do is just this top block there. There we go. Right, I'm not going to use the hammer again nearby, otherwise it's going to get ruined. And you know what? It's looking quite good. The, uh, the bird has stayed in there for a while, but oh no, this means trouble. This means trouble. Right, let's go and uh, put a few of these clouds here and uh, just see if I can stay alive. So rather than fighting it, I'm mainly just going to try dodging it and uh, stay near the uh, the clouds. And oh, I need to get it to come down lower. It needs to be uh, underneath where the, the rain is. It's kind of hard to see where <laughs> where my rain is because there's rain uh, all over the, the place here. And oh, that hurt me. That hurt me. Right, let's try and stay uh, a little bit lower uh, so it goes under these clouds. And I basically want it to hurt itself. It's so effective uh, because they're so long. Like, they're getting hurt constant, like constantly. Like, whatever part of their, their body uh, is underneath uh, means it's getting hurt. And did I did I get it? I think I might have uh, I might have taken out. It doesn't seem to be uh, around here anymore anyway. So there we go. I don't know where it dropped all of its loot, uh, but I was able to, to take it out. And that's really what matters. Sadly, though, uh, none of the uh, the trees have started to, to grow and uh, we haven't had uh, any penguins yet either. So what I might do is uh, quickly head back to the, the house uh, just to see if there are any penguins uh, over in uh, that area down here uh, to see if I could uh, catch any uh, quickly before the uh, the end of the, the episode. Any any penguins down down here that want to, to come and say hello? Any penguins? Please, I really want to catch a penguin if you can't tell, but nope, sadly no penguins down here, but maybe uh, they might uh, go and start spawning uh, on the uh, the top of, uh, of Animal Island. So uh, we have just about uh, run out of time in this episode, and I know, I know I made pretty awful progress. <laughs> I was kind of bullied though, I was sort of bullied uh, by all of the um, uh, all of the uh, the googlies that were attacking me up there it certainly uh, makes it a lot harder to to build but i think using the uh, the uh, the nimbus clouds uh, certainly is making it a lot easier so in the the next episode uh, i'm going to head up here and hopefully uh, some of the uh, the trees would have grown by then and uh, if not uh, we can at least go and do the uh, the burrows for the uh, the squirrels uh, underneath as well and uh, hopefully at some point get some penguins and if we don't get any penguins i can build the uh, the igloo ready for them uh, when they uh, they do arrive so uh, as always i'll be leaving a, a link in the uh, description to the the next episode uh, once that's online and oh i've just noticed the bird has disappeared so it looks like uh, sadly they are all going to have to to be in cages so yeah link in the description to the the next episode once it's online uh, but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye